Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff here at Furco Family Farm, and today I'm gonna to be doing some maintenance on our 2015 Club Car President. It's a lot of maintenance that needs to be done. I need to service the batteries. I have to fix the suspension and just give it a general cleanup because it's been quite a while since this thing's got a good bath. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Stay notified when we release new videos. I'm gonna get this off here using tire iron. Here we go. And just shimmy it right off. There we go. All right, now that we got both wheels off, I do have access up in here to the shock absorber. So now I'm gonna go in here and get these bolts out of the shock absorber, try to get that thing off, and hopefully it's as easy as it looks. Let's see if we can't get this loosened up. All right, so here's the old suspension, the shock absorber. As you can see, I can push it in there pretty easy. This gasket's pretty worn out. It's just kind of in really rough shape. The replacement, in comparison, this has got a bigger cylinder, the slightly longer build than this one, maybe by a quarter inch here or so. Let's get that bolt up here started. Nice and snug. Now we gotta get the bottom one aligned. There we go. There we go. New shock absorber done on one side. All right, well, unfortunately, I don't have the proper tool to get the bolt out of the tie rod and the heim joint down here. It requires a 3 8 inch uh, drive adapter that I can put in there with the drill and take out. And, and I believe the threads of those bolts have some Loctite or some sort of grip lock on it. So the tools that I have that I'm trying, I've been trying to put the vice grips around the actual bolt to try to pull that out. It's not working. So I'm going to have to skip those and come back to those heim joints later on once I actually have that 3 8 inch driver. So I guess I can get in here. There's a couple grease fittings that I'm, I want to throw some grease in, lube up those grease fittings, and then I'll repeat and change the shock absorber on the other side, lube up and grease the those joints over there and then we'll th throw the front tires back on and move to the rear so get that done right now since i can't replace the heim joint i'm going to cut this piece of metal off and get it out of the way then i'm going to uh, put some grease on this joint down here there we go i'm going to take a little grease off the grease gun and literally just going to roll it right around this joint just to allow it to move a little bit more freely. There we go. All right, this thing is nasty. This shock absorber's on here now. Let's hit this grease fitting back here. Before I put these wheels back on, it's just gonna take a little bit of grease and just grease up this bearing in here.
right, so I'm having a hard time getting the wheel off itself. So I'm gonna try to do this without taking the wheels off. So what I need to do is I need to get the shock absorber there and up there, I gotta undo those nuts so I can get those out. And then I'd also like to replace this spring here on both sides. So there's a bolt here, uh, a couple of these, U, this U bolt here that needs to be done and another bolt at the other end, repeating it for both sides. So this one's gonna be a little bit difficult and I'm gonna see if I can actually get this to go. Hopefully we can get these replaced. All right, so it's the next day. Ran into a snag when trying to get the rear springs off. They were quite a bit harder than I expected. And when we lifted to get the rear spring off, the rear axle kind of shifted and the motor kind of was kind of shifting forward. So I had to pull that up. I had to take a ratchet strap on the tractor, kind of ratchet to pull the axle back in alignment and get all the bolt holes to line back up and stuff like that so the rear spring was <laughs> quite the nightmare i didn't expect it to take so much time and i was actually out here for several hours just messing with that but we got the, the rear springs on so those are good to go i had to take off the side step mounting bolts underneath in order to get the rear spring front bolt off on either side so i need to remount the side steps and tighten the bolts down for the spring and then get the shock absorbers the new shock absorbers mounted and uh tightened up in the back and then we'll be good to go so if you take a look here the springs are brand new on the back they are uh, nice heavy duty springs the shock absorbers are going to go right in the back right over here be mounted up to the top so those will be good to go So now I just have to tighten up this nut. There's another nut that goes on that'll go on after that to kind of lock it all on and do the same thing on the top and then repeat on the other side and we'll get these shocks on. All right, the new rear shock absorbers have been replaced. They're all mounted. We've got the new springs on as well. So the entire rear suspension has been replaced. All right, so the next thing we want to do, now that the suspension has all been upgraded and replaced, we got to take this seat off because we need to do work here in the battery terminal. So as you can see in here, you'll see all this corrosion built up on all the terminals. All that needs to be wire brushed off. So I have a wire brush. I'm gonna go around and hit up all those, clean all those up. We'll try to clean the batteries off. And then we need to fill uh, distilled water in all these here and get them all cleaned up. This bracket right here is broken. Um, I have a new bolt that goes down, connects to the frame underneath that holds us down. This bolt will be here in a, in a few days. So once that gets in, I'll be able to officially get this re-secured just like this one here, nice and sturdy. It holds the space between the batteries so they're not sliding around hitting each other. Just wanna get this all cleaned out and serviced. Once everything's done, the uh, golf cart should be good to go. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. Wire brushing all the terminals, cleaning off a little bit and getting the water filled up. First thing you wanna do when every time you're working on the golf cart, make sure you turn off the main power. This corrosion will drain the battery. It'll start shorting out and uh, reducing the battery life. So it's a good thing to make sure you keep up the maintenance and getting all this corrosion taken care of, trying to keep your battery compartment as dry as possible and then making sure your fluids are always topped off in here. Once I get all these wire brushed, I'll go back and try to clean the batteries off before we do the water. So I'm gonna go in and just try to just wipe off some of these batteries. All right, so I got most of the batteries cleaned up and 
I just went around to all the cables where the terminals were broken and I re-terminated all those with some ring terminators. So that's done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the nuts on those batteries and install the wires back on. Once all the wires are remounted and fastened up, I'm gonna go ahead and top off all of the batteries with distilled water and then we'll get it put on the charger and get it a test run. Curious to see how she rides, if it's still bumpy, if the suspension's doing its job and um, see with the batteries all cleaned up and those wires terminated if there's gonna be any issues electronically. So I'm gonna get at it and get those wires hooked up and then get the uh, distilled water filled. So in the, these batteries, we're just using a distilled water, nice clean distilled water, uh, and using a funnel that I could help put these in. But the first thing I want to do is take all these caps off. So now that the batteries are all cleaned, the wires are tightened down, uh, we dried off the top of the batteries, got this area cleaned up. I'm going to turn the main power back to run and put the seat back on. So get that put on here. All right. Hopefully I did a good job. Battery turned on. That's a good thing. Everything's working, it's running good, so I'll consider that a success. Thanks a lot for following today. Hope you guys have a good one. See you later.